Direct News TV June 29, 2023 Putin receives rock star welcome in Dagestan after quelled mutiny. President Vladimir Putin has received a rock star welcome in Russia's Dagestan region that some are interpreting as the 70-year-old leader's attempt to boost his popularity days after quelling an armed insurrection. The Kremlin said on Thursday that footage, which could not be verified, apparently showing Putin greeting adoring supporters in Derbent proved that he has astounding support. Moscow has insisted that Putin's long rule has not been weakened after Wagner mercenaries marched hundreds of kilometers, almost reaching Moscow, and captured military facilities in southern Russia, appearing to gain some support. The Kremlin has not mentioned the name of Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin since the mutiny was halted. Putin is rarely seen meeting the Russian populace, especially since the coronavirus pandemic, which saw him observe strict isolation rules, with some of those restrictions still in place. Moscow on Wednesday evening released footage of Putin walking up to a cheering group of mostly women in Derbent. In Derbent, there was an astounding demonstration of support and happiness of the local population, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said on Thursday. He said Putin could not refuse to greet the crowd. Surrounded by men in suits and a cameraman, the Russian leader reached out over a barrier to shake people's hands. Then, with his jacket off, he waved goodbye and blew a kiss to the crowd, before getting in a car. The data we have show the prevailing and dominating support of the president and the special military operation, Peskov said on Thursday, using Moscow's official term for the conflict in Ukraine. Putin has insisted that the mutineers did not galvanize support during their rebellion. He initially condemned the rebelling Wagner fighters as traitors and promised tough punishment, but after the mutiny was halted, Putin allowed the fighters to go back to their homes, join the regular army or go into exile in Belarus. I did not doubt the reaction in Dagestan and in all of the country, Putin said as he met Sergei Melikov, the head of the Caucasus region, according to an extract of the meeting aired on Russian television. Putin was replying to Melikov who had said that, there was not a single person in Dagestan who did not support decisions made by the leaders of the Russian Federation over the aborted rebellion. The short-lived rebellion represented the most serious challenge to Putin since he came to power in Russia on December 31, 1999. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.